Hey guys, what's up? It's Alex or Nuznas here, and in today's video, I'm going to be discussing some principles that will really help you along your RuneScape 3 journey, golden rules if you will. However, these are all just ideas and tips and not something that you have to follow. They're just looking to be some helpful tips. Some of you guys will know very well that I don't follow even all of these myself, but I think they're really helpful and can help you a lot along your journey and account progression and hopefully make RuneScape 3 much more enjoyable for you. So let's Let's get into them. Also, if you like this type of content, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss another video. All right, so the first thing is going to be to not sell your gear too often. This is something that is wildly different in RuneScape 3 than it is in old school RuneScape, and this is a rule that I frequently break a lot when I really shouldn't. So most PVM gear in RuneScape 3 is augmented with perks, meaning if you want to sell your gear and buy different ones, you'll have to unaugment it and either get it to level 15 and spend a bunch of components to get your perks back or you'll just straight up lose your perks if you don't use this. You basically have to use an equipment separator to get your gizmos back or you're losing out on the gizmos that you put on there. So this is just one of the many reasons why you should try to not sell your gear as much as possible. Another reason is just the long term price fluctuations of things. For instance, I bought Seismic's wand and orb for around 250 mil like a year ago. I ended up selling it for some reason or another and now a year later I just had to buy them back for 1.4 bill. If I had just made the commitment to not sell any of my gear and just keep what I buy, I would have saved myself a ton of money in the future. Well of course it's up to you, keeping your gear for the long haul has a lot of benefits and it's a rule that I need to personally follow more but I think can benefit a lot of people. So these next two ideas kind of go hand in hand and the first one is to always Always do your quests. Yes, it sounds cliche and simple, but quests unlock so many good and important things in RuneScape, especially for PVM. For instance, a quest like the World Wakes unlocks absolutely crucial ultimate abilities like Sunshine and Death Swiftness that almost all PVMers use at a ton of bosses. The same goes for unlocking things like curses, ancient magics, the new ancient spells, and a whole bunch of other useful stuff that you get from quests. If you ever feel bored PVMing or skilling, quests can bring a nice change of pace and make things feel like you're progressing your account more and unlock you some very useful rewards along the way. Now in the same vein as doing quests, we also have achievement diaries which are just as important as quests, especially again for unlocking crucial PVM upgrades. You get super useful things like the Enhanced Excalibur from like the Seer's achievement diaries. You can get a Bacrimnal Bolt proc chance upgrade, a quiver for holding bolts, and so many more useful things. So if you're feeling bored in the same vein as quests and you want to unlock some new stuff, achievement diaries can be very very useful useful. You can get like the wilderness diary to get teleports around the wilderness. You can get noted ashes from things like lava strike worms when you kill them in the wilderness from that as well. There are so so many useful rewards from achievement diaries. Another great rule to follow is the rule of having your money doing something or working for you. This is a rule that can really make you a ton of money. You might know the term the rich get richer, well it kind of applies in RuneScape as well. As some of you may think I'm talking about like merching or flipping, that's not exactly what I'm talking about, that is part of it. You can start flipping with your money to make it work for you or flip to make some extra cash and not just have your money sitting in your bank doing nothing. That's kind of the main point of this is if you have, you know, 500 mil a bill in your bank, it's really not doing anything. So you want to be using that in some way. But another thing that you can do is use invention machines. You can purchase alkable items and set up an auto alker and make passive money every day from doing absolutely nothing by just having your money work for you and putting in that initial investment of alkable things. Or you can do like the same exact thing with the unfinished potion making machine or the auto disassembler. There's many many ways to make your money work for you and get you even more money, but sometimes it's just as simple as using your money to buy gear or new PVM items, which can allow you to kill harder bosses, thus making you more money. There's lots of different ways to do this, but putting your money to some sort of use rather than just having it sit there 
can do so much for you. It's sort of like how you don't want your money just sitting in your bank account and you'd rather have it invested in something in the real world. Which is why I think this is a very important rule that can really help all of you kind of, you know, earn not only earn more money on RuneScape, but keep your money from losing value because if you have like a bill sitting in your bank and items are going up and up and up in price like they have been recently, then essentially you're kind of losing money. Now next is something that I think is very important for RuneScape and I touched on it in a previous video that I did about burnout, but that's setting realistic goals for yourself. Goals are a huge part of RuneScape, but often people set goals that are just really, really ambitious that are going to take them many, many months, even years to complete, which kind of makes it feel like you're not progressing. If you set smaller, more achievable goals, you're going to feel like you're progressing more, you're getting things done, um, you're achieving things for your account, which can lead to you feeling more motivated, feel like your account's progressing, and can really just help you all around. So that's why I think setting realistic goals for yourself is a really, really great thing in RuneScape. It can apply to much, much more in RuneScape, but especially in RuneScape, it can really help you have just a much better time. So here's something that a lot of people had to learn the hard way, but it is if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. So this can apply to a lot of things, but mostly I'm talking about people trying to scam you in game. There's, trust me, a lot of people either wanting to lure you or scam you. Happens on RuneScape, happens on so many different games, but basically if somebody tells you something or wants you to do something, wants you to go somewhere with them, give them money, um, bring out your best gear, wilderness, anything like that. If it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. I know a lot of you probably see those people that, you know, spam. There's a giveaway happening on YouTube. Go to this YouTube account and click the link to be entered into this RuneScape giveaway. And that is definitely a scam that's going to give you a virus. There's a ton of different scams to look out for, but essentially you want to have good account security and you also want to just think of the concept that if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is, and that generally should keep you safe from a lot of things. Which I think is really important because someone getting scammed or someone getting lured or anything like that can basically ruin an entire RuneScape experience for somebody. I remember when I got hacked and lost all my items many years ago, I really considered actually quitting at that point because I had just lost everything and it just felt so demotivating, and I know something like that happening to a lot of people can really, you know, maybe end their RuneScape journey. So I want to bring attention to this just so you guys know to always be careful out there. And again, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. And make sure you protect your account, change your password, two-factor authentication on your email, as well as your account, all of that all helps. So this next one is something that I personally love to do and it's something that keeps me really motivated with the game and that is to interact with new updates. Now we know sometimes we don't always get constant updates of you know amazing things like we're not going to get a boss release every month or anything like that. We did with Elder God Wars but recently we're not going to get that. But let's say a new quest comes out, let's say a new mini game comes out, anything like that. Interact and trying out the new content can make you feel much more engaged because at least for that brief moment it's something that's new it's something you can do that the community will also be doing and it'll basically just make you feel more excited about the game make you get more done um, something like the golden party at when that came out so many people came back to do it and it created a big sense of community and just a lot of fun and a lot of people made a ton of money with that so interacting with the new content even if it's not you know something huge huge. Maybe if it's just a quest, doing that quest um, can help you in a variety of ways, but this is something that I always recommend people do is to interact with the new stuff that comes out or stuff they've never done before. So this next one is something that doesn't always apply, but a lot of the times it does, and that is skills over gear. So this is basically saying that before you get a ton of gear, you want to get your core skills up, at least when it applies to PVM. So you don't want to go buy a tier 90, tier 92 weapon and start PVMing if you don't have something like overloads. You don't want to go and spend a billion GP on gear if you don't have curses unlocked or if you don't have like, you know, a high summoning level or invention unlocked. Getting those core skills is going to benefit you so, so much more than gear. Uh, think of the skills like invention, 
prayer, um, combat skills, herb lore, summoning, archaeology. Think of those skills as the foundation of your, you know, PVM account. Think of those as a foundation and then the gear is building upon that foundation, but you really need that foundation first or else it's not going to be as good and you really need those core skills to be able to build upon with gear and other upgrades. So if you're somebody that, you know, is wondering what to buy next, but you don't have overloads, you don't have adrenaline potions, maybe you don't have curses, um, maybe you don't have any good archaeology relics, investing in basically either training those skills or spending the time to train those skills first is going to go a much longer way than actually just trying to brute force and buy better gear and ignoring those skills. And the same goes for like abilities and quests. You Skills are very, very important. So are quests like we talked about earlier. This is one that generally applies for PVM, but that is to push yourself. This is something that a lot of people struggle to do, including myself, and that is to push myself to do new stuff that I'm not totally comfortable with or I'm scared to do. For instance, I have killed about a thousand Telos, but I remember when I first was going to go try Telos, I was very, very intimidated and very, very scared to do it, and I almost didn't do it, and if I didn't go and kill Telos at all, I wouldn't have gained the PVM skill I got from, you know, dying a ton at Telos and learning different things. And I also wouldn't have gained the almost two or three billion GP I got from learning Telos and getting drops. So if you're intimidated about doing a boss or, you know, a new Slayer monster or anything like that, just remember that if you die in RuneScape, if you, you know, can't kill a boss for a while if you struggle a lot it's okay it's not you know some horrible thing you shouldn't be judged um, it's just a game and trying out those you know new things that you're not comfortable with is really going to push you to just become better as a pvmer and this can go for a lot of things in life as well um, this is it this is meant to be a runescape video but trying the, to push yourself to do things out of your comfort zone is really really important for a lot of things for instance if i was nervous to make my first YouTube video, which I was, or I let negative comments on my first few YouTube videos get to me, I would not be here making these videos for you now and calling this my job. So pushing yourself and getting over that, you know, fear is very, very good, especially for bossing in RuneScape and like I said, a lot of other things. And the last thing I want to give is probably the most important thing here, and it's gonna sound really cliche, but it's to have fun. At the end of the day, RuneScape is a game. That's what it is. It's meant to bring you enjoyment and fun and fulfillment and, you know, social aspects. And if you're playing RuneScape and you're hating it, you're, you know, just having a bad time, you're not enjoying it, it feels like a chore, then maybe it's time to take a break and taking a break from RuneScape as well is absolutely okay. Don't do things in RuneScape that aren't that you don't have fun with. For instance, like I said earlier, to push yourself to do, do new bosses. If you're pushing yourself to do new bosses, but you're just really not having fun at all, then maybe you shouldn't do that. Maybe you should go back and do something that's gonna help you have more fun. Now, if you're someone like me who, you know, obviously I wouldn't be having fun dying at Telos over and over, but I know when I finally get those kills and I finally, you you know, see my progress and get better at Telos, I'm going to start, you know, achieving more things and having fun, then that's something worth doing. So you just always want to make sure that you're having fun with RuneScape. I think a lot of people lose kind of sight that at the end of the day, RuneScape is a game. In its essence, it's meant to be something that you have fun with, that you can either relax with, you know, um, take a break from real life with, you know, be an escape from things. There's so many different reasons people play RuneScape, but you shouldn't be playing RuneScape if it's causing you to have a bad time. That's not good. And just remember, as cliche as it might sound, just make sure that you're having fun. And those are the different rules I came up with. So whether you're a new player starting RuneScape 3 for the first time, someone coming from old school RuneScape and making the switch to RuneScape 3, or someone that's a veteran of RuneScape 3 playing for many years, 
years. I think these things can help almost everyone out. So if you did enjoy this video or it helped you out, make sure to leave a like. It gets the video out to more people and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. I hope you all have a great day. Remember to keep having fun while playing RuneScape and I'll see you all in the next video.